Witchcraft Unveiled, a philosophical odyssey into the wicked and mystical realms invites readers on an enchanting journey through the shadows of philosophy and the mystical depths of witchcraft. Led by the philosopher witch, this grimoire explores the historical roots, esoteric beliefs, enchanting rituals, ethical dilemmas, and even the humor embedded in the world of witches. Each chapter serves as a portal into a different facet of philosophical inquiry, from the airy and terrifying to the whimsically humorous. As the cauldron of understanding bubbles with insights, readers are challenged to peer into the mystical realms, confront existential questions, and dance on the edge of understanding. This book beckons seekers of arcane wisdom to unravel the philosophical secrets hidden within the captivating tapestry of witchcraft. Introduction, Witchcraft Unveiled, A Philosophical Odyssey into the Wicked and Mystical Realms Welcome to the Dark Cauldron, Seeker of Arcane Wisdom and Philosophical Inquiry. In the shadowy recesses where the veil between the mundane and the magical is thin, we embark on a journey into the heart of witchcraft, a journey guided not only by spells and incantations, but by the illuminating torch of philosophy. This grimoire invites you to explore the twisted corridors of belief, the mystique of rituals, the shadows of ethical dilemmas, the echoes of laughter, and the terrifying truths that define the witch's world. Our guide through this mystical odyssey is none other than the philosopher witch, a sage who wields not only a wand but the sharp blade of inquiry to dissect the dark and the mysterious. As we gather around the cauldron of philosophical exploration, the air is charged with anticipation. The philosopher which beckons you to cast aside preconceived notions and immerse yourself in the wicked, the funny, the scary, and the mystical. Here, within the pages of this grimoire, we shall stir the cauldron of understanding, extracting the philosophical essence of witchcraft that lies beneath the surface of folklore and myth. Our odyssey commences with an examination of the cauldron of time, unearthing the historical roots of witchcraft and tracing its evolution through the ages. We shall then delve into the esoteric alchemy of beliefs, exploring the psychological and cultural dimensions that shape the mystical worldview of the witch. The philosopher witch will guide us through the enchanting realm of rituals and incantations, where the boundaries between the ordinary and the extraordinary blur. Together, we shall confront the ethical dilemmas that cast shadows across the magical landscape, questioning the morality of wielding supernatural powers. Laughter, a potent elixir, will echo through the pages as we uncover the humorous side of witchcraft. In the dance between cackles and chuckles, we will explore the absurdities and paradoxes that infuse the witch's world with a sense of wit and whimsy. In our final act, we shall confront the terrifying truths and mystic realities that lie at the heart of philosophical witchcraft. The cauldron, now agitated with existential questions, will challenge us to peer into the abyss and contemplate the cosmic mysteries that define our existence. As we embark on this odyssey, let your mind be a lantern in the darkness, illuminating the philosophical landscapes that unfold before you. The philosopher which extends her hand, inviting you to join her in this exploration of the wicked and the mystical, a journey that transcends the boundaries of the known and invites you to dance on the edge of understanding. So, dear seeker, let the pages of this grimoire unfold like the ancient scrolls of arcane wisdom. May your mind be sharpened, your spirit kindled, and your understanding deepened as we unveil the philosophical secrets hidden within the mystical realms of witchcraft. The cauldron awaits, bubbling with infinite possibilities, and the philosopher which beckons you to embark on this enchanting odyssey. Chapter 1, The Cauldron of Time Welcome to the Dark Cauldron, setting the tone for a philosophical exploration. In the shadowy recesses of time, where history intertwines with the mystical, the cauldron bubbles with the essence of ancient secrets. Join me on this odyssey into the heart of witchcraft, where the past echoes through the cobweb-laden corridors of time, revealing a history steeped in darkness and intrigue. As we embark on this journey, imagine the flickering candlelight casting eerie shadows on the pages of forgotten grimoires. The air is thick with the scent of herbs a bewitching aroma that transcends centuries. Here, within the confines of our philosophical cauldron, we shall stir the murky waters of history and extract the essence of witchcraft's enigmatic evolution. Our expedition commences at the crossroads of antiquity, where whispers of the craft first reached mortal ears. Picture the wise women and cunning men, draped in cloaks woven from the fabric of superstition and fear. 
These were the forebears of a tradition that, over time, would become both revered and reviled. Let us traverse the fog-shrouded landscapes of ancient civilizations, where the line between magic and reality blurred into an indistinct tapestry of belief. The witch, a figure emerging from the shadows of folklore, danced with the spirits of nature and communed with forces unseen. Here, in the cradle of civilization, the seeds of witchcraft took root, intertwining with the human psyche. As the cauldron simmers, our gaze fixes upon medieval Europe, a time when the accused were bound by chains of suspicion and the stakes of persecution rose as high as the flames that consumed them. Inquisitors sought out heretics, and the label of which became a mark of doom. The philosophical questions of power, control, and the nature of fear swirl in the cauldron's depths, inviting us to ponder the fragility of reason in the face of irrational dread. The Renaissance, a rebirth of knowledge, saw the resurgence of interest in the occult arts. The cauldron bubbles with the intellectual fervor of the time, as philosophers grappled with the paradoxes of magic and reason. The witch, once condemned, found herself a subject of fascination among scholars who sought to unravel the mysteries of the arcane. And so, as we dip our ladles into the swirling mixture of historical epics, we are confronted with a concoction both tantalizing and foreboding. The cauldron of time boils over with the essence of a tradition that has weathered the storms of persecution and emerged, still veiled in mystery, on the other side. As we navigate these waters, keep in mind that our journey is not a mere recounting of events, but a philosophical excavation. We seek to understand not only the what, but the why and how of witchcraft's evolution. Our quest for knowledge will lead us through the dark corridors of history, where each step is guided by the flickering light of inquiry and the tantalizing aroma of ancient wisdom. So, dear reader, as we peer into the abyss of the past, be prepared to question, to ponder, and to unearth the philosophical gems hidden within the cauldron of time. The journey has just begun, and the depths of witchcraft's philosophical mysteries await our fearless exploration. Chapter 2 The Esoteric Alchemy of Beliefs The Witch's Brew Philosophical Perspectives on Belief Systems In the inky shadows of the occult, belief serves as the potent elixir that courses through the veins of witchcraft. Like a mesmerizing brew, the philosophy of witchcraft intertwines with the threads of human consciousness, weaving a tapestry of supernatural narratives and mystical convictions. As we plunge into the second chapter of our philosophical journey, let us stir the cauldron of beliefs and distill the essence of the witch's mind. Consider, if you will, the alchemical process by which belief transmutes ordinary reality into a realm where the extraordinary reigns supreme. The witch, as both practitioner and philosopher, engages in a dance with the numinous, navigating the liminal spaces between the seen and the unseen. Here, belief is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a visceral experience, a communion with forces that transcend the boundaries of the mundane. Our philosophical ladle delves into the depths of psychological and cultural dimensions, where the roots of witchcraft beliefs intertwine with the soil of the human psyche. What compels individuals to embrace a worldview steeped in magic, where spells and incantations are seen as avenues to influence the course of fate? The cauldron whispers secrets of the human need for agency, control, and the perennial quest for meaning in a chaotic world. As we peer into the cauldron, the bubbling concoction reveals the intricate dance between belief and reality. The philosopher which contemplates the nature of truth in a realm where subjective experiences shape the contours of reality. What is the nature of reality when perceptions are shaped by spells, symbols, and the unseen hand of the witch's will? Our journey through the philosophical mists leads us to ponder the very foundations of knowledge and the limits of human understanding. Symbols, those potent sigils etched into the fabric of witchcraft, become philosophical talismans in our exploration. They are keys to unlocking the mysteries of belief systems, windows into the collective unconscious where archetypes and myths reside. The philosopher which decodes the symbols, revealing layers of meaning that transcend the literal and plunge into the depths of the symbolic, where the language of the soul communicates with the mysteries of the cosmos. In this esoteric alchemy of beliefs, the cauldron reveals the tension between reason and mysticism. How does the philosopher reconcile the seemingly irrational with the rational? The witch, as philosopher, 
navigates this labyrinth of paradoxes, recognizing that the boundaries between logic and enchantment are porous and ever-shifting. It is in this dynamic interplay that the essence of witchcraft philosophy emerges, challenging the dichotomies that structure our understanding of reality. As we sip from the cauldron's brew of beliefs, let us savor the heady mixture of wonder and skepticism. Our journey through the philosophical landscape of witchcraft unveils the rich tapestry of human consciousness, where belief serves as the alchemical catalyst that transforms the ordinary into the extraordinary. The philosopher witch, with wand in hand and mind ablaze, continues to stir the cauldron, ever seeking the elusive philosopher's stone that reveals the secrets of the witch's brew. Chapter 3 Rituals and Incantations Enchanting the Mind, a Philosophical Deconstruction of Magical Practices As we venture further into the mystic realms of witchcraft, our philosophical cauldron bubbles with anticipation, for we are about to immerse ourselves in the transformative waters of rituals and incantations. In this chapter, we embark on a journey into the heart of magical practices, where the philosopher witch contemplates the nature of enchantment, the psychology of ritual, and the linguistic sorcery woven into the fabric of incantations. Imagine, if you will, the sacred space where rituals unfold, a space defined not only by physical boundaries, but by the very essence of belief and intention. The philosopher witch, as architect of the magical rite, navigates the liminal space between the ordinary and the extraordinary. Here, the cauldron's contents become a theater of symbols and actions that transcend the mundane, inviting us to ponder the nature of reality itself. Our ladle dips into the cauldron to extract the philosophical essence of ritual. What role does repetition, symbolism, and intention play in the mind's alchemy during these ceremonial acts? The philosopher which unravels the threads of tradition and innovation, questioning the purpose of ritual in an age where skepticism often eclipses faith. Yet, even in the modern world, the allure of ritual persists, beckoning us to reconsider the profound impact these acts have on the psyche. The philosopher which scrutinizes the art of incantations, those linguistic spells that dance upon the airwaves and shape reality with words. Language, in the realm of witchcraft, is not a mere conveyance of meaning but a potent tool of transformation. The cauldron stirs with the echoes of ancient chants, inviting us to explore the philosophy behind the spoken word as a conduit between the mundane and the magical. Symbols, gestures, and words become philosophical sigils etched into the fabric of reality. The cauldron whispers tales of intentionality, as the philosopher which grapples with the ethical implications of wielding such power. How does one reconcile the desire for personal gain with the responsibility of influencing the course of events through magical means? As we navigate the labyrinth of ethical dilemmas, the cauldron guides us to confront the shadows that dance at the edges of our moral compass. In this chapter, the philosopher which invites us to consider the transformative potential of rituals and incantations not only as external acts, but as profound journeys into the recesses of the mind. The cauldron reveals that, at its core, witchcraft is a philosophical exploration of the human psyche and its capacity to transcend the boundaries of the known. As the philosopher which continues to stir the cauldron, we are beckoned to reflect on our own beliefs, rituals, and incantations, those internal and external practices that shape our perception of reality. The alchemy of the mind, like a magical elixir, awaits those who dare to peer into the depths of philosophical witchcraft, where the boundaries between the mundane and the magical blur, and the cauldron of understanding bubbles with infinite possibilities. Chapter 4 The Witch's Brew of Ethics Morality in the Shadows, A Dark Exploration of Ethical Dilemmas In the cavernous depths of the philosophical cauldron, our exploration takes a darker turn, as we delve into the murky waters of ethical considerations within the world of witchcraft. The witch, as both moral agent and wielder of mystical power, finds herself entangled in a web of moral complexities that transcend the ordinary realms of right and wrong. Join us now, as we navigate the shadowy corridors of morality, where the philosopher witch confronts the ethical dilemmas that arise from casting spells, weaving curses, and navigating the thin line between virtue and vice. Picture, if you will, the moonlit landscape where the boundaries of ethics blur. The cauldron, now agitated with the conflicts of the witch's conscience, invites us to ponder the morality of manipulating fate. 
Can the philosopher witch, in her pursuit of magical mastery, reconcile the use of supernatural means with a moral compass that guides actions in the mundane world? Our ladle dips into the cauldron, extracting the ethical quandaries that surface when dealing with the forces that lie beyond the veil. As we peer into the cauldron, the philosopher witch unravels the complexities surrounding curses, hexes, and bewitchments. The very tools of the trade, once seen as malevolent instruments of malice, become philosophical instruments for probing the nature of good and evil. How does the intention behind a spell influence its ethical implications? The cauldron's reflections prompt us to question whether the witch, in her pursuit of justice or revenge, becomes an arbiter of cosmic balance or an agent of chaos. Consider the interplay between personal desires and ethical considerations as the philosopher which contemplates the consequences of magical actions. The cauldron bubbles with the philosophical musings on the responsibility that accompanies wielding the wand and uttering the incantation. Does the pursuit of one's desires justify the manipulation of others, or does the very act of manipulation tarnish the purity of the desired outcome? Our exploration into the moral shadows of witchcraft raises questions about the nature of power and the ethical responsibility inherent in the exercise of magical abilities. In this chapter, the philosopher witch challenges us to confront our own ethical frameworks and consider how they may be transformed within the cauldron of magical morality. As we sip from the brew of ethical dilemmas, let us reflect on the shadows that dance at the edge of our moral consciousness. The cauldron, ever stirring, beckons us to contemplate the nature of virtue and vice in a world where the lines between light and darkness are as elusive as the mists that shroud the magical realms. As the philosopher witch continues her dance with morality in the shadows, our journey through the cauldron of ethical exploration unfolds. The mysteries of right and wrong, good and evil, merge into a swirling potion of philosophical contemplation, inviting us to grapple with the enigma of ethics within the witch's brew. Chapter 5, Laughter in the Shadows, Cackles and Chuckles, The Philosophical Humor of Witchcraft As we venture deeper into the arcane realms of philosophy, the cauldron takes a whimsical turn, revealing the laughter that echoes through the shadowy corridors of witchcraft. In this chapter, we peel back the layers of mystique to explore the wickedly humorous side of the craft. Join the philosopher witch as she unearths the comedic nuances, the absurdities, and the chuckle-worthy paradoxes that dance amidst the serious incantations and bewitching rituals. Picture a moonlit coven, where the witches, clad in dark robes, find joy in the mirthful dance of the absurd. The cauldron, now bubbling with levity, invites us to examine the role of humor within the witch's world. How does laughter intertwine with the mystical and philosophical dimensions of witchcraft? As we dip our ladle into the cauldron, let us savor the potion of hilarity that courses through the magical landscape. The philosopher witch, with a twinkle in her eye, contemplates the absurdities inherent in magical thinking. The cauldron gurgles with laughter as we explore the paradoxes that arise when spells and hexes collide with the rational mind. How does one reconcile the solemnity of ritual with the whimsy of incantations? The cauldron, now an orchestra of giggles, leads us through a maze of magical humor, where the boundaries between the sublime and the ridiculous become delightfully blurred. Consider the witch's penchant for irony, where the very act of casting spells challenges the seriousness with which we often approach life. The cauldron, now effervescent with laughter, prompts us to reflect on the liberating power of humor in the face of life's uncertainties. Does the act of laughing at the mysteries of the universe offer a unique perspective, a way to transcend the gravity of our mortal concerns? The philosopher witch, with a mischievous grin, invites us to ponder the transformative potential of laughter in the mystical realms. In this chapter, the cauldron reveals the comedic interplay between the witch's seriousness and the cosmic joke that underlies the universe. The philosopher witch beckons us to consider how humor, with its ability to disarm and delight, becomes a philosophical tool for navigating the enigmatic landscapes of witchcraft. As we sip from the cauldron's brew of laughter, let us revel in the joyous dance of wit and whimsy that elevates the mystical experience beyond the confines of the grave and the grave. The philosopher witch, with wand in hand and laughter on her lips, continues to stir the cauldron, inviting us to embrace the absurdities and find merriment in the shadows. The echoes of cackles and chuckles linger in the air, 
leaving us with a newfound appreciation for the delightful complexities that emerge when humor dances with the mystic in the grand theater of philosophical witchcraft. Chapter 6, Terrifying Truths and Mystic Realities Shadows of Reality, Philosophical Insights into the Terrifying and Mystic In the final installment of our philosophical exploration into the witch's world, the cauldron reaches its climax, revealing the terrifying truths and mystic realities that lie beneath the surface of enchantment. As we gaze into the churning depths, the philosopher witch guides us through the shadowy landscapes where fear and fascination intertwine, offering profound insights into the nature of existence and the cosmic mysteries that haunt the recesses of the human psyche. Imagine a moonless night, where the cauldron casts eerie shadows on the faces of those who dare to peer into the abyss. The air is thick with anticipation as we contemplate the philosophical implications of the terrifying aspects of witchcraft. How do the darkest corners of the witch's world reflect our deepest fears and desires? The cauldron, now a mirror to the soul, beckons us to confront the shadows that lurk within and without. Our ladle delves into the cauldron, extracting the existential questions that arise when faced with the terror of the unknown. The philosopher witch, undeterred by the specters that dance in the flickering candlelight, contemplates the nature of fear and its role in shaping our perceptions of reality. How does the witch, a seeker of wisdom, navigate the thin line between dread and enlightenment? The cauldron murmurs, revealing the philosophical insights that emerge from confronting the abyss. Consider the mystic realities that emerge from the interplay of terror and fascination. The cauldron, now aglow with ethereal light, prompts us to explore the transformative power of fear in the quest for higher understanding. How does the encounter with the terrifying aspects of witchcraft lead to a deeper connection with the mystical forces that shape our world? The philosopher witch, with a steady gaze, invites us to embrace the darkness as a gateway to illumination. As we navigate the haunting landscapes, the cauldron reveals the philosophical reflections on the blurred boundaries between reality and imagination. How do the mystical experiences of the witch challenge our conventional notions of what is real? The philosopher witch, ever the explorer of the unknown, guides us through the labyrinth of perception, where the shadows of reality give rise to the mystic truths that elude the grasp of the rational mind. In this final chapter, the cauldron becomes a crucible of existential inquiry, inviting us to confront the terrifying truths that lie at the heart of philosophical witchcraft. The philosopher witch, having stirred the cauldron to its fullest, leaves us with a parting question, can we find meaning in the dance between fear and fascination, and can the shadows of reality unveil the profound mysteries that define our existence? As the philosopher witch concludes her mystical journey, the cauldron's embers flicker, and the echoes of our philosophical exploration linger in the air. The terrifying truths and mystic realities, now etched into the tapestry of our understanding become a testament to the enduring allure of the witch's world, a world where the cauldron of philosophy continues to bubble with infinite possibilities, casting its spell over those who dare to seek wisdom in the shadows. Conclusion, The Witch's Philosophical Grimoire As we gather around the simmering cauldron of philosophical inquiry, our journey into the witch's world draws to a close. The shadows cast by the flickering candlelight reveal the intricacies of a realm where the mystical, the humorous, the terrifying, and the ethical converge in a mesmerizing dance. In this concluding chapter, we reflect on the philosophical insights gleaned from our exploration and bid farewell to the witch's world, a world that has both enchanted and challenged our understanding of reality. The philosopher witch, with a knowing smile, looks back at the pages of our grimoire and contemplates the threads of wisdom woven into the tapestry of witchcraft philosophy. As we sip the last drops from the cauldron's brew, let us distill the essence of our journey. Witchcraft, as a philosophical endeavor, unveils the power of belief, the alchemical elixir that transforms the ordinary into the extraordinary. In our exploration of the cauldron of time, we witnessed the evolution of witchcraft from ancient whispers to medieval persecutions, through the Renaissance, and into the modern age. The philosopher witch, like an archaeologist of the arcane, unearthed the historical roots that anchor the mystical traditions. Our ladle then stirred the cauldron of beliefs, revealing the psychological and cultural dimensions that infuse magic into the human experience. The philosopher which beckoned us to question the nature of reality as beliefs shaped the contours of mystical landscapes, blurring the lines between the seen and the unseen. 
Next, we navigated the labyrinth of rituals and incantations, unraveling the philosophy behind the magical practices. The cauldron bubbled with the transformative power of ceremony, prompting us to ponder the nature of intention, symbolism, and language in the creation of mystical experiences. The ethical quandaries within the witch's world, explored in the fourth chapter, forced us to confront the shadows that accompany the exercise of magical power. The philosopher which guided us through the moral landscape, challenging us to reflect on the responsibility that comes with the ability to influence reality through mystical means. Laughter, our companion in the fifth chapter, echoed through the cauldron's chamber, reminding us of the whimsical and absurd facets of the witch's world. The philosopher witch, with a twinkle in her eye, encouraged us to find joy in the dance between the serious and the humorous, transcending the gravity of magical pursuits. In the final chapter, we face the terrifying truths and mystic realities that lurk in the shadows of philosophical witchcraft. The cauldron, a crucible of existential inquiry, prompted us to explore the transformative power of fear and the blurred boundaries between reality and imagination. As the philosopher witch concludes our journey, she leaves us with a lingering question, can we embrace the multifaceted nature of the witch's world and find meaning in the dance between fear and fascination, seriousness and humor, history and myth? The cauldron, now still, stands as a testament to the enduring allure of philosophical witchcraft, a world where the shadows of reality conceal profound mysteries and where the boundaries between the mundane and the magical remain ever elusive. As we close the pages of this grimoire, May the echoes of our philosophical exploration resonate in the chambers of your mind, inviting you to continue seeking wisdom in the shadows, where the cauldron of understanding forever bubbles with infinite possibilities. Epilogue, Closing the Cauldron As the embers of our philosophical journey fade into the tapestry of the witch's world, we find ourselves at the crossroads of conclusion and continuation. The philosopher witch, having stirred the cauldron of wisdom to its fullest, invites us to reflect on the lingering mysteries, the profound insights, and the eternal allure of the mystical realms we have traversed. Closing the cauldron, we bid farewell to the echoes of laughter, the shadows of reality, and the transformative power of belief. The philosopher witch, now a spectral guide through the pages of our grimoire, extends an invitation, let the cauldron remain open in your minds, a vessel for perpetual exploration into the depths of philosophy and enchantment. In this concluding act, we acknowledge that the journey has not reached its end but has merely opened a portal to further contemplation. The philosopher witches wand points beyond the confines of these pages, encouraging us to carry the torch of inquiry into the realms of the unknown. As the cauldron closes, may you, dear reader, continue to dance on the edges of belief, explore the rituals of your existence, grapple with ethical quandaries, and find joy in the humorous interplay between the mundane and the magical. May the terrifying truths and mystic realities unveiled within these pages be catalysts for your ongoing philosophical exploration. The philosopher witch, with a parting twirl of her cloak, leaves you with a whispered incantation, a spell that lingers in the air, may your journey through the shadows be both illuminating and enchanting. And so, the cauldron of philosophical witchcraft, having imparted its lessons, awaits the next seeker. The echoes of our exploration resonate in the chambers of understanding and the grimoire remains open, a perennial invitation to those who dare to question, to ponder, and to dance on the fringes of wisdom. As you venture forth, may the cauldron's brew of philosophical insights continue to guide you through the mysteries of existence, where the dark and the light, the known and the unknown, converge in a perpetual dance of enchantment.